Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of Lightning Maths, a really quick and easy way of how to add a series of double digit numbers using the jump in tens technique and complements where applicable. Now if you haven't already, then I would strongly suggest that you watch episode 1 where we covered adding single digit numbers using complements as we'll be making use of that method here as well. Okay, so let's take a look. So how quickly can you add the following string of numbers? I'll give you around 5 to 7 seconds to do that. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. Did you get 299? Well done if you did, but don't worry if you didn't. I'm going to break down exactly how we can do this. Okay, so let's start by looking at an example. Say we wanted to add 57 to 98. So normally, we instinctively know that on the left hand side, the left hand column is the tens column and the right hand column represents the units. Now usually, we normally start by adding right to left. In other words, we start from adding the units column and then moving over to adding the tens column. So we would normally do 7 plus 8, which is 15. And since that's a double digit number, we carry the 1. And then we would add the tens column. So we do 5 plus 9, which is 14. And adding that 1 from before makes 15. So the answer is 155. Now this is all well and good, but what if I told you that we can add numbers like this mentally and that without carrying any numbers? Well, it's very possible. So first, we start with the top number which is 57 and we add any units onto it. So that's 57 plus 8 which gives us 65. Then we add any remaining 10s left over so that we know that there are 9 10s left over or 90 left over. So 65 plus 90 gives us 155 and there we go. Now the method that we've used here is called jumping 10s and the way it works is once we got our 65 we had to jump 9 10s or we had to jump 90 in order to get to 155. Let's take a look at another example. So we have 42 plus 35. So what we do is we add any units to our 42. So we add 42 plus 5 which gives us 47. Then we add the 3 tens or the 30 to the 47. So that gives us 77. It can be that quick. Let's take a look at another example. Let's consider 91 plus 76. Okay, so first what we do is we add 6 units to 91 which gives us 97. Then we add 7 tens or 70 to 97 making 167. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we've got 24 plus 36 plus 64. Okay, so what we do first is we fix the 24 and instead of just adding the 6 to the 24 making 30, what we can also notice is that the 6 and the bottom 4 complement to make 10, which we can directly add to the 24 making 34. Then we add the 10s, so we add 3 10s or 30 to the 34 making 64 and then we add the final 6 10s or 60 making 124. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we have 34 plus 87 plus 53 plus 26. Okay, so fixing the 34, we notice that the 7 and the 3 units complement to make 10. So we can add that directly onto the 34, making 44. And then adding the final 6 units gives us 50. And then moving over to the 10s column, we notice that the 8 10s and the 2 10s complement to make 100. And so we can add that directly to the 50, making 150. And since we've got 5 10s left over, or 50, we add that to the 150, making 200. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we have 82 plus 79 plus 68 plus 41 plus 32. Okay, so like before, we fix the 82 and then we add the units first. So we can notice that the 9 and the 1 complement to make 10 and the 8 and the 2 also complement to make 10. So that totals to 20, which we can add directly to the 82, making 102. And then we notice also that in the tens column, the 7 tens and the 3 tens complement to make 100. And also the 6 tens and the 4 tens complement to make 100 as well. So that gives us 200 in total. We can add that now directly to the 102 from before, giving us 302. Okay, so let's go back to the question we had in the beginning. 
Now, as we can see, we can add these numbers effortlessly. So fixing the 92, we can notice that the 3 and the 7 complement to make 10, which we can add directly to the 92, giving 102. Then adding the 6 gives us 108, and adding the 1 gives us 109. Then in the tens column, the 2 and the 8 complement to make 100. So we can add that directly to the 109, giving 209. And then adding the 40 gives 249. Then adding the 50 gives us 299. And there we go. Let me know how well you did with this in the comments below. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.